Welcome back all you talented, super smart and hardworking kids. I can't tell you how happy I am to see your projects from the first three days. Each of you worked so hard to complete your postcards and those lovely pictures that you sent me holding your work with pride. Ah, I simply love it. And on that positive and uplifting note, let's look at today's postcard topic. We are going to paint a cute baby whale and her name is Villa. She's a happy little whale who's telling us that everything will be okay. Okay? So let's get started. Let's quickly look at the art supplies for those who joined us for the very first time today. We are going to need a pencil for sketching and an eraser, a measuring scale, watercolor paper or a thick card sheet. It's completely okay if you don't have a watercolor paper, but make sure that the paper you use is thick enough so your paper does not buckle up when you put water on it. So make sure you're using a thick white paper. You will need watercolors of any brand that you have at home, a watercolor brush, a black sketch pen, two cups of clean water, in one cup we are going to rinse our red color and the other cup to rinse the green color. Tissue paper to dab your brush and that's about it. So imagine that you're drawing a question mark that's sleeping. Okay, so this shape does look like a question mark. And then join the lower half circle of the question mark and simply extend it backwards close to the first tip of the question mark and then draw two small fins at the back which are similar to shape of a leaf. So you will be drawing two leaves. Similarly, the fin on the side will also be like a leaf. Now draw a small smiley line as if the whale is smiling and then extend that line backwards to join the side fin and the back fin. And then draw a big circle and one more circle inside the big one which will be the whale's eye. We will draw some water waves. Don't worry if you take time to sketch this out. If you find it difficult drawing it with free hand, try using a bowl to draw the front face portion of the whale. So you can draw a semicircle using a bowl and then extend the question mark at the back. So that's also one trick that you can use to draw your whale. And if my pencil lines are too dark, I'm simply going to erase some of the lines, just like how we did for the earlier projects. So if you feel that you're hurried or rushed, please pause the video, sketch your whale nicely, and then we will come back and paint together. Okay, so now that you're ready to paint, let's dip our brush in clean water and I'm going to apply a layer of water on the top half of the whale. I'm not going to put water on the eye, so leave the eye out. Apply water on the top portion of the whale, including the fins on the side and the tail at the back. Do 
don't put water on the eye be careful of that just put everywhere around the eye and leave the lower tummy of the whale but do the fin cover all the areas nicely now i'm covering the back tail with a layer of water i'm just gliding my brush one last time to make sure that the entire surface is nice and damp and now i'm going to dip my brush in dark blue color if you don't have dark blue try to mix only a tiny bit of black in light blue or ultramarine blue so you get a color that is very close to blue ink okay so what we are trying to achieve here is a shade of prussian blue or indigo and then i'm just gliding my brush over the wet surface starting from the top portion of the whale so i started with the head and then came down along the border of the question mark painted the fins and now i'm just tilting my paper in different directions and you see how the color starts to flow and then using a wet brush i'm simply going to spread the color everywhere and glide it on the top portion of the whale you can add some gradation by keeping certain patches of the whale darker I'm adding a darker color on the sides of the fins and then mixing it up with a clean brush. Do it very slowly and be patient. Using a clean brush, I'm simply going to spread the color everywhere. I'm still not doing the eye. I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm just coloring around the circle like so. Okay. I'm taking some more color on my brush and darkening the tail of the whale to show some nice shading. adding some more color I'm just gliding my brush very softly on the surface of the paper Okay so now we have completed the top half of the whale we are going to leave it to dry and then we will do the lower portion or the tummy of the whale so make sure it dries nicely in the meanwhile let's do the lettering below the whale so i'm drawing a long line And the message that we are writing is everything 
will be okay so instead of everything will be okay we will replace the word will by whale so I'm writing the word whale in uppercase and all the other words I'm writing in lowercase and then two exclamatory marks at the end so that's our lettering Okay, so now the whale has completely dried. There are no damp sections. Everything has dried up nicely. With the help of a black sketch pen, I am going to draw a border around the eye. I'm just going to trace the circle. Similarly, I will draw the smaller circle inside the big circle and paint it black like so so that's our eye it's ready okay so now I'm just going to trace the lettering which we did earlier Make sure your spellings are correct. Check everything before you do your pen work. Don't forget the exclamatory marks. Okay, so now our lettering is done. And the eye is also done. And the surface of the whale is nice and dry. So now let's do the lower part or the tummy of the whale. I am again very slowly going to apply a layer of water. Be very careful when you're doing this. You don't want to mix the two colors. So apply a layer of water. Cover it nicely. And I'm going to paint the tummy of the whale in light gray color. Now, if you don't have grey colour in your palette, don't worry. There are two options. The first option is to use black colour, but you don't want to use it directly from your pot or pan. You are going to dilute the black colour with lots of water. And when you dilute it, it's going to look very similar to grey colour. So, either do that or you can use the same blue which we've used to paint the top half of the whale but again dilute it to make a very very light shade. So now I'm applying a very light wash of grey colour which is much lighter than the earlier blue that I used and I'm simply gliding it on the tummy of the whale. It should look almost white with a tinge of grey colour. 
so make sure your lower part is very very light now let's erase our pencil lines very slowly make sure your black ink has dried completely otherwise you are going to smudge the lettering Okay, so now we are going to draw the waves, just a few of them, I'm making these S shaped curves, some small ones, some bigger ones. Like so. Now I'm just going to add a little splash of water from the head of the whale. Alright, I think our baby whale villa is now ready. I think she's looking super cute and adorable. I hope you were able to finish your painting with me and I can't wait to see what you create today. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you again in the next video. Until then, keep creating. Bye.